Hey there, it's Hillary of Creative Faith, and today I have a fun video using Sweet and Sassy stamps. I have featured their stamps in a lot of my other YouTube videos, and I actually have a whole YouTube video called Bible Journaling for the Non-Artistic Stamps, which I will link in the description box below where I use Sweet and Sassy stamps. But um, I was chosen to be one of their guest designers for the month of July. And that means that they sent me these stamps to use in my Bible. I also have some plans on using them in some other unique ways also. <laughs> um, but anyways, I just wanted to thank Corinne, who is the owner of Sweet and Sassy, for sending me these. And I will link the Sweet and Sassy website, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, so you guys can check out all the places. And so they asked me to kind of give a few stamp sets that I wanted to have, and then these they picked from them, and these are the ones they sent me. So this one is a little bit older one. It is called Fill Me Up. I love, I have a whole YouTube series called Hot Chocolate with Hillary, so I love hot chocolate and... So I just thought this was a really cute set. I also liked the little check mark and the little boxes for my bullet journal. So there's that one. This one is called All in All. And it is one of their newer sets. And it just has some really great words. My word for 2019 is surrender. And so I really liked that one. And this is their brand new, one of their brand new ones called Walk by Faith. And it has all these cool verses and images to use about faith. So I am so excited to use these in my Bible this month. And I wanted to show you guys the other stamps that I got from Sweet and Sassy that I have in my stash. So this is the very first one that I ever got. I went to the Sweet and Sassy Stamps Retreat in September of 2018. I have a whole YouTube video where I walk through. Um, it has like pictures and videos from the event and I'll link that down below. So this was the retreat stamp set. So I got that there and then also when I was there I purchased that set and I think this set too because I got like a special discount. Um, this is my hands down favorite alphabet stamp I've ever owned. It's the Rebecca Script Alpha, so definitely pick this up if you guys haven't. And this one's called Just Say Jesus. And then this one I have used in my bullet journal a lot. It is the Typewriter Block Alpha. It's also my second favorite alphabet stamp ever, so this is another really great basic one to just have in your stash. And then the last two I have, these ones I got, I think it was for their Black Friday sale last year. I love this hymn. I love doing hymn journaling and this has all these hymn lyrics. And then this one um, is kind of a winter Christmas, it could be a Christmassy one, but has another little mug and a girl holding a mug. So anyways, I love Sweet and Sassy stamps and I'm excited to use them for the month of July. So now I'm going to put you guys on fast forward and do a process in my Bible. All right. So today I am working in Mark chapter one, specifically verse 35. And I'll talk a little bit more about that a little later in the video. But to start off, I am going to make a blue background to represent the sky. I know I'm doing the voiceover after I finish the page and you guys I totally could have only done the top half <laughs> because the bottom half gets covered but that is okay <laughs> I got a chance to use my favorite watercolors are from designs by Rachel Beth and I'll list her Etsy shop below now I made a rookie mistake I wanted to make a sun and I thought oh, perfect I will use the pencil case I have, well, I made it way too small. It wouldn't fit the stamp. Well, it barely fit the stamp, but I wanted to write under the stamp and spend your morning with Jesus. So it would say rise and shine and spend your morning with Jesus, but I couldn't fit it in. So then I learned my lesson. Always use pencil on the back side of the paper. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? If it's a little wonky, if it's not perfect, that is okay with me. So we got the sun cut out and 
I knew I wanted to make a giant sunrise using washi tape. I love, 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 love washi tape. And I've made a lot of different washi tape shapes. I might have, I think I have a YouTube video about it. A different one that I'll link below. But, um... Anyways, I knew I wanted to use like yellow, orange, and pink washi tape to make like a really epic sunrise. And so you'll see me, I start off doing it like this and then I switch it to a time lapse so it gets really fast. But why I wanted to journal this verse specifically is that since around 2016, I have had like a super consistent quiet time in the morning. I have a YouTube video where I talk about my morning routine that I'll link down below, but it involves prayer journaling, it involves reading my Bible, and it involves reflecting about what God wants to teach me. And this has been super revolutionary and impactful in my walk with the Lord. It has helped me to grow my faith so much. It's helped me to write God's word on my heart and it has just been such an amazing thing, routine, rhythm. Rhythm is the word I want to use. A morning rhythm and I love it so much you guys and I'm not perfect at it. I probably will do five to six mornings out of seven a week but the time, the extra time that I lose sleeping, I gain in this really rich relationship with the Lord. And so I would just totally encourage you guys to do exactly what the stamp says, to rise and shine and spend time with Jesus in your mornings. And this page is just a really beautiful reminder of that to me. And this would also be something fun to do like on an index card or something and frame it and put it next to your bed so that you too are reminded to rise and shine and spend time with God in the mornings. So that would be kind of another fun way to use a stamp set is to make like a little sign thing for next to your bed. Um, so I am now going to do the stamping part. I heard somewhere that it is like a good idea to rub new stamps on your arm or use a, an eraser to dirty them up a bit. Um, and so I do that. I think it helps the ink grab hold more. And I will link my favorite ink below. I love the Versafine black ink. And I'm using um, a pen to just write out and spend morning, spend your morning with Jesus. And I just totally love how this page turned out. I just think it looks really fun and bright and reminds me of the amazing joy that we have when we spend time with God and just all that he wants to teach us as we dive into his word. And I'm using um, Tombow Adhesive, which I will link below on Amazon. It is my favorite adhesive and one that I use on almost every Bible page. And then I cut out a tab using the leftover paper from before <laughs> when I messed up. So anyways, I am so excited to continue to use these sweet and sassy stamps during the month of July and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the Creative Faith YouTube channel for more Bible journaling videos. Let me know in the comments what is your morning routine look like? Do you spend time with Jesus? Do you set aside time in your morning to get up early and read and pray and whatnot. I'd love to know your routine in the comments below. Be sure to leave any questions you have for me and thanks again to Sweet and Sassy Stamps for sending me these beautiful stamps to work with.